Welcome to In Nature's Realm. My name is Bruce Smith and today I'm fly fishing Lauriston Reservoir. Now Lauriston Reservoir is just an hour's drive from Melbourne, just near the township of Kyneton. And this is a fantastic lake to fish. Now in this video clip, I'm going to show you, the viewer, how to blind fish a lake. Now to blind fish a lake, what we basically do is we use our lake craft, which will take us to an area on the lake that we can then fish with a fly. And hopefully a trout will take it. So let's see if we can catch a trout or two here on Lauriston Reservoir. Well, blind fishing can be successful. It's probably not the best way to catch a fish, but we've got a beautiful brown trout on here. So blind fishing is definitely a way to catch fish. It takes a lot of perseverance and good casting skills and, like I say, a good retrieval method. So as we go, I'm going to bring this trout up to you so you can have a look at this brown trout from Lauriston Reservoir. And he's probably about a pound and a half. Whoa! <laughs> and he's fighting beautiful. Look at that. Okay. Well, this trout's putting on a great aerial display of. Uh, of jumps and leaps and we're going to bring him toward you and we're going to show you this trout oh, let's get come here mate whoa he's still a bit green this fish but he's a he's a nice brown trout and um let's see if we can bring him up and give you a good look at him oh, come here mate He's all green, as green can be. <laughs> now the fly that I got this trout on is a bag fly. Uh, the bag fly uh, that I'm actually using here is one that um, an old fly fisherman that I used to know by the name of um, Ron Mashin. He, uh, he was the one that showed me how to tie this fly. And it's probably been one of the best flies I've ever uh, tied up to imitate a smelt pattern or a bait fish fly and there we go there he is he's a brown trout around about uh, a pound and a half he'd be probably he wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if he's nudging two pounds and as you can see uh, the bag fly there in his mouth right in the bottom section there and We'll get that fly out. And we'll put this fish, fish back to fight another day. There you go, mate. On your way. And he's gone. And there you go. Like I was saying before, fishing blind can be successful. It's not the proper way to fish. I would rather actually observe the water, see that trout or the, a trout rise or a trout move and then capture that rise. Um, here, we were actually blind fishing, we saw no movement and we put the fly out to him and he took it. So blind fishing can be very successful if you do it right. So give blind fishing a try when you're next on a lake, like this lake here, Lauriston Reservoir. We've got brown trout of beautiful sizes and uh, we'll continue fishing and see if we can another, get another fish. 